What's going on, people? We're going to go back to the old way of doing things. I'm about to shake some shit up. Stay tuned. Today, and today only, I've got a special offer. So for those of you who come after the video, but they're crazy, they're over the top, and they're below the video, so be sure to grab that. All right, I was contemplating, and I've been thinking, and this shit isn't fun anymore because, whoa, that was almost an accident. You know, I've been thinking, and I have been thinking. Things have not been the same. And I think it's time to go back to the old way of doing things, which is very brash, very much in your face, and this traffic is insane. It's time to get back to the original theme of this channel which is hustling, which is making things happen. Because I got a crew of folks on the channel and I'm, my goal is to run you off. I know that goes completely against what everyone on YouTube says, grow the channel. I don't wanna be surrounded by a bunch of people who are not fucking taking action. This shit is boring. I want, I want, I want. I wanna start something, I want, I want, I want. No, no, no. And I know there's a bunch of new people here and this isn't me putting this stuff out as one of those internet hero journey stories where I went from all of this fucking tragedy. It was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. But I was fucking homeless. Homeless. And many of you are not homeless. Many of you are not close to being homeless. And I don't want you to be homeless. But you're not putting in the work. You're just not. That's the reality. You're not putting in the work. You're not doing anything. You're not taking any chances and you're looking for some secret magical jelly bean to success and anyone that tells you the truth for you to build a business it's gonna take some time you're like scam i want my success in 30 days 90 days 120 days any longer than that uh, <laughs> and that bullshit i got i don't know maybe i stopped cussing enough I reduced the cussing. I it wasn't intentional. Maybe that's what happened. You know, it, it's just been crazy because what I want and, you know, the people who are offended, you're the ones I'm talking to because there's a group of people like, yes, Lord, I can't wait. He's going back to the stuff that I love. Let's have this conversation. You want to be successful in life, whether it's online, offline, whatever. You want to be successful. That is going to take something called work. And I don't know how to explain it to you because I was listening to some people and I made, a, I made a mistake and I'll have to take ownership of that mistake of what I should do with my business. And I got off track and I started trying to help people who weren't qualified to be helped. That's a better way of putting it. For one of my clients who it's on month six and a lot of work has been done and they had a business before and they were willing to put in the work and now we're seeing the results now I just said months and months of work and now seeing the results when someone tells most of y'all not all of y'all but most of y'all that you tune it out and you I'm about to say something else too one of the reasons that a lot of you get scammed is because you're looking for an easy way out if you were not looking for an easy way out, you wouldn't get scammed. You wouldn't get scammed. Also, on that is because I see a lot of programs with uh, you know, the other the one hundred thousand dollar money back guarantee or some other stuff like that, just all over the place. But the original principles of success have not changed. Work hard, have a strategy learn from your mistakes that's the template that, that that's pretty much it I really stopped reading a lot of books because there's so much stuff that's coming out there's so many programs there's so many things and I'm, I keep going back to the originals Earl Nightingale Drucker Deming even even Tommy Hopkins back in the day a lot of folks he thought he was a little bit too over the top uh, Tommy would be <laughs> struggling today with you know in terms of being over the top but 
if you want to be successful, like really, really successful, you're going to have to get it in your head that there's going to be a period of hardship. It may be a learning curve. It may be a, a lesson that you have to learn. It's, it's something. That's just going to be the reality of this stuff. And there's so many people, like uh, one of the questions I get, like, should I post on YouTube every day? That's the wrong question. The right question is, is what I have to bring to YouTube relevant? And I've had many people come to me and I was like, that it's not going to work. And then they go out there and it's like, Glenn, it ain't working. I'm like, yeah, it's just not gonna work because it doesn't have the ingredients to work. That's why it's not working. But, you know, I'm just a guy on the internet. Like I said, I've been thinking, 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 thinking about how to go forward because I want this to be fun again. And what I mean about fun is going back to 2009, 2012, 13 content type content and more stuff because I've been talking to a lot of people and it's amazing. Now, this is something that kind of comes into play with what I already knew. And it was a little surprising how it also created a problem. Because here's the thing. <clears throat> a lot of people love the whole notion of helping people out in need. But when you say something like, why are you in need? And it's not a medical emergency or you know life happens shit happens but if you're perpet if you've been in need for the last five years six years seven years eight years ten years you've always been needy you're the problem and no one wants to say that because I've got people on this channel who have asked me so many questions who have not taken the first step to doing something and I don't want to hear shit about it. I don't have any money. I don't have the connections. I Make them. Make the money. Get a part-time job. Get two jobs. Get three jobs. Do whatever you need to do to make your thing happen. But at least get started. Because, like, with uh, YouTube for Business, and there's a reason I'm building this course out this way, biggest roadblock is getting the camera work done biggest roadblock everybody wants to kind of go to load up you know the the easy stuff uh the channel art maybe you know or iphone videos and let me just say this all of your favorite channels the big guys are they doing iphone videos is cnn doing iphone videos is the the bigger youtube <clears throat> buzzfeed the, the bigger channels, the, the bigger websites, are they using iPhone videos? No. Why? If that is the best way, because it's insufficient. And that I, I get this, you know, I, I even did like a little walk around with, you know, how to make videos with iPhone video. I mean, yeah, to make videos with iPhones, but the reality is the competition is fierce. And if you're going to go in with an iPhone to get somebody who has a DSLR and who has learned how to use it to a very creative extent, they're going to kick your ass. That's just that. I mean, and we're not talking about someone who's been using their DSLR for years. I mean, a few weeks, you'll be in the game. A few weeks of having a DSLR and actually learning the settings and playing around with it, you'll be in the game. Then you start taking these creative shots. But that hard part of starting and staying started is what's killing so many people so many folks are just so scared to do anything but they'll stay on the sidelines and continue to ask questions versus taking action and I don't know how many ways I can say it I've, I've said it for years I'm not the smartest person in the room. I just work harder than most people. That's really it. And you you 
you have folks who are on this I don't know I don't know but that that's my rant on that and let me just tell you what's about to happen totally different level of content because it'll still be about starting businesses it'll be about starting an online business that stuff's not going to change but how I deliver it how I put it down oh that's going to change that's totally going to change because one of the problems with setting up a system or well, one of the problems of introducing information to people is folks aren't really willing to accept the truth because I'm in this group and they talk about it and if someone came out and said hey this product does X and the product really does X no hype needed most folks just wouldn't buy it and unless you know one of their friends got it and then one of their friends started screaming the benefits of it a lot of folks were like ah but if a product that was substandard but the packaging was amazing the uh, marketing was amazing oh that shit would sell off the shelves even though it doesn't work can you say the thigh master and you know you have to ask yourself is it because society's that way or is it the marketers and really I think it's society I really do because there are more people in society than there are marketers way more and it just gets to be interesting but we're gonna go back to bluntness we're gonna go back to hey you may be a scared little bitch I don't know this might stem the tide of all of these uh these people who are coming after me who want to me to sign up for their networks and that just word of advice if you don't have like 250,000 subscribers and you can go in and dictate dictate terms don't sign up with a network don't do it, it it's a lot it's, it's a hassle it is a hassle and a half but just some for you to think about just something for you to um, sink your teeth into because another thing that we're going to do is I'm going to do more live. I'm going to go back to doing more Google Hangouts live events and do more of that because I've been so busy. But I'm going to parse it because, see, this is what I like to see. I like to see people be successful. And I love getting those emails like, hey, man, I've been watching your channel for two years and I did this and this and this. And now this is where I love that stuff. But when you get a bunch of people who are not taking action, you don't get those emails. So because I still get them, but not like I did in the early days. And I think part of that is I've been too fucking soft. I think that's really the problem. I have been too fucking soft on y'all. I've been too like, well, I've been too damn understanding. You know, it's just like, you know, going for the sob stories. Oh, people, no, 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 no. That shit changes today. Totally changes today. Because, for, you know, if I can get a thousand people solidly successful, because one of the things that I'm learning, and I'm going to do more workshops and work groups, because a lot of people want to get on the phone with me, but they don't have any clue to what they're doing what they want to do have nothing going on and it's just a a girlfriend fest like blah 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 because if you're not going to take action and I'm gonna give you an example of something that happened years ago it was one of my uh, students he ran into some a situation he was um, he was lean and clean he just oh I mean he had he was set $200,000 in the bank young dude no kids not married perfect credit and he came to me and I said dude don't change a thing here do this do this do this do this and he was just like all right because I was like at no point in your life will you ever be this clean again and he wanted to start a business I start a business Gave him the guidelines. Don't tell people how much money you have. Do I, I said this? Don't tell anybody. Keep that to yourself. Don't nobody, nobody, right? So he's running this business. He's doing stuff, and then um, 
chick sees an ATM receipt. And um, three months later, she's pregnant. Three months. Then, you know, he, they were cool. Went ahead and had the you know baby, did the family thing, moved in together. Then she did not like his entrepreneurial nature. She wanted him to get a job and stop hustling because they needed benefits. Now understand, she wasn't working. She wasn't working. So to my dudes out there, you have no children. You're not in a steady, long-term relationship. Get as much as, as you can get, get done now. Get it done. If you want to work 16 hours a day, work 16 hours a day. Do this now. Because this guy, 200 grand in the bank. Perfect credit. We're Facebook friends. That's why I'm not saying names. I have seen misfortune after misfortune happen to him. It's like, oh, we're going through this. We're going through that. He and the chick don't live together no more. He doesn't have the 200 grand anymore. He's got a lot of debt now. And I'm just saying, listen to me. <laughs> listen. Because when he, when, I, when he told me she was pregnant, I knew what was going to happen. I knew he was going to get off that trajectory. I knew he was going to get off that track. Now, there are some women who would be pregnant and go out and get two jobs to help your ass. You find one of those, keep her. That's gold because that shit ain't the norm. But most of the times when you're like living like that and the chick shows up and she sees that you can make her life easy, <laughs> she can make herself fall in love with you. But this is the kind of stuff that I see. Uh, it's gonna take you some time to be successful. That's just me being honest with you. It's gonna take you some time to be successful and you need some clarity and you need focus and you need purpose. And what's gonna happen, and this is a big one, because I put out a survey not too long ago and I forgot to hedge the question. Because when you ask people what is their most important accomplishment in life or proudest moments, and they're gonna say, oh, uh, having kids, okay. I'm going to say this as gently as I can. Having kids is great, it's fun, it's awesome, but you should separate that from your professional accomplishments. Because if the most important thing that you have done on this planet is fuck someone and get them pregnant, you got problems. You got problems. I know a lot of folks are not, but once again, we're going back to the 2009, 2012, 13-ish style. You, that, you got problems. That should be part of a larger plan. Much larger plan. I'm trying to tell you because you go ahead and you go out there and you build that life. You're a young dude, right? 16, 20, 16 to 26. And you get out there and hustle hard and get yourself a business built and by the time you're like you know 28 30 some your business built you meet that woman y'all have kids it's a different experience it's a different experience because you got years in the game and when she comes into the circle it's like hey baby I'm an entrepreneur this is what I do you like it you love it great you don't like it you don't love it you ain't gonna be here I mean but when you're in that midst of building and that, that thing happens, you're going to get knocked off that trajectory. And it's going to be very, very hard to get back on. Very, very hard. So if you are young and clean, keep it that way. I would say if you know yourself very well, get yourself neutered. Get fixed. Yep, I know. Extreme. Get fixed. Put some sperm on ice and, and later in case you change your mind. Because the way things are today, unless you just really are good with uh, handling your business, that's the, that one move could take you out. And I, I looked this morning, because like I said, I'm not mentioning names. He, he knows who he is. And 
what he could have built in these last four years. 200 grand, perfect credit, all kinds of skills, no weight, no bet, just clean. It's a, it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing. But, yeah, that, that's pretty much where we are. So, we're going back. We're going back. Now, if you like the contents of this channel, if you like all this wonderful stuff, be sure to subscribe, like, and most importantly, share. Sharing is caring. It's about to be fun around here again. That's all.